All right, what's going on guys? I'm back with another type of video that I don't normally do. It's a 2000 subscriber update and the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna toss in a bunch of random clips, a bunch of unboxing clips um, from past videos and future videos. And I'm just gonna talk because I just hit this incredible feat of 2000 subscribers and I'm super happy, super thankful, super motivated. And you know, this I guess this is a way for me to not only show my appreciation, but, you know, show off some recent pickups because I've been going on a buying spree, partially because I just hit this milestone, but also because, you know, life's been all right. Um, go over some future video ideas, uh, address some questions, kind of, and, you know, a lot more, you know, make this sort of a discussion video. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just hit 2,000 subscribers, and I want to thank all of you for watching, whether you're, you know, you're a loyal viewer of the channel and look forward to my videos weekly. Or if, you know, you do a keyword search and you, I don't know, do a search of how to un-yellow un Air Force Ones, um, shout out to that video too because it hit 300,000 views a few weeks ago too, which is crazy to think. Um, yeah, I mean, there's two opposite ends of the spectrum as far as my viewers go. So, I mean, as a collective whole, we're at 2,000 subscribers and I, I want to keep it going. So, thank you all for watching. Um, I guess the first question I'll address or first comment I usually address is or I don't address and I'm going to address now is that like this is something that I don't do for a living right I, I'm like any other working class citizen in America I have a day job that pays the bills and sort of supports this sneaker channel it wasn't until recently that you know I've been getting <laughs> getting a monthly monthly check from Google and you know a few other things related to this so I mean it helps it helps fund the sneakers that I buy, but really all this stuff that I'm buying is because I'm genuinely interested in these products. I buy them because I like them, um, you know, and my my YouTube channel, um, I just recently changed the description on it. It says something like storytelling through sneakers, which sort of resonates with me well because, I mean, sneakers, yeah, they're a commodity that you wear and, and that's really it. But to me, sneakers are more of like, a story right whether you get them for a good deal you grew up with the model or anything in between i mean sneakers and any sneaker youtuber will probably say something similar it's a, it just hits different with them and it, it definitely hits different with me and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to share it on my youtube channel i'm glad that viewership is starting to pick up and people see that same interest but that's enough rambling um, I'm going to get to the first pair of sneakers that I bought. So I bought five pairs of sneakers in the last week and they all decided to show up around the same time, which is absurd. I need to take a break after this, but, um, and I have so many sneakers in my collection I haven't worn yet. Anyway, um, so this is a pair of the Adidas ZX 4000s. Uh, it's a collaboration with all timers. Um, I actually just edited the video for that. So be on the lookout for that sometime soon. But essentially, it's one of those sneakers that nobody really bought or cared about. It's a sneaker collaboration that literally no one cared about at all. Um, and it's on a model that no one really cares about either. It's the Adidas ZX 4000 again. And, and the ZX line is something that nobody really cares about. Um, it's like, literally, I mention this in my videos all the time. It's like an if you know, you know sort of thing. And uh, I'm actually pulling out the shoes as I record this video. Um, and man, these are awesome. I'm glad I got these. Um, and it's funny too, I'm going to tell a quick story about these, is that I got them for free from Adidas, basically. Not because I'm sponsored, but because actually quite the opposite. I was trying to buy this pair of Adidas Ultra Boosts um, in this antique brass colorway. Um, I even wrote out a video script for it because my workflow is super organized when it comes to making these YouTube videos. I have a Google sheet of video ideas. I keep Google Docs of video scripts for these voiceovers, which I'm going straight, I'm going straight podcast style right now. Um, and recording a voiceover on audacity, no clips, just talking. And then I'm, I'm going to plug in these clips later. Anyway, that's a far tangent. Essentially, I wanted this pair of ultra boosts. Um, I was going to buy a pair for myself and my girlfriend so that, you know, we could be doing that matchy matchy thing and, and it is a cool pair of sneakers but essentially since november of 2019 adidas was showing stock for her size and my size and it turned out that they didn't actually have the stock for it and i uncovered this sort of bug or glitch on their website so i got my order placed and canceled at least 10 times 
um, and I kept hitting up customer service about it, and I guess they're tired of hearing from me, so they pretty much took it down from their website and credited me 50 bucks, um, which I spent on these. Um, I'm not going to mention that in the uh, in the video review that I do of these because it's not really worth mentioning beyond that. But yeah, these are a great pair of sneakers. I'm super stoked to have them. Um, they're super comfortable. I love a retro style, um, which is like another topic that I have here on my notes as I'm reading my monitor is that running shoes are my thing. It's, it's what I think fits my look the best. Um, I know I recently picked up, you know, the question mids from Reebok, um, some foam posits, some basketball sneakers, but really my heart lies with, with runners. Um, and, and you could see on my channel, I have so many videos on runners, um, which is something so near and dear to my heart. Anyway, those are those. I'm already at six minutes. Wow, this is going to be a long video. Cool, so I actually had to stop right after that, and, and now I'm picking it back up because what I said didn't make any sense. But uh, going in chronological order, the next shoe that I picked up is this. I'm, I'm holding them in my hand right now. The Nike Air Max 97. Uh, dubbed as the Nintendo 64. So this one's awesome. I'm so excited to have this sneaker um, because of the memories that I have tied to um, the Nintendo 64. It's it's something that... It was a console that I played a lot growing up uh, with my friends and even at home by myself. Um, super cool sneaker. Um, retail price is pretty hefty back when they released in, I think, September of 2019. It was 170 bucks. And uh, I caught them on deep sale at uh, on Foot Locker for a hundred and three or a hundred four dollars shipped. Um, mind you, I follow Sneaker Steel and all these um, pages that post discounts pretty frequently, and this is the lowest that I've seen them for. So I figured, why not pull the trigger on these? Um, I don't have a ninety seven, so this is my first Air Max ninety seven, which is super cool. They're very comfortable. I wore them to work the other day. And they were so comfortable walking around New York City. Um, so that's those. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at my sneaker collection as a whole now, too. I have um, two pairs of Air Max 1s. I have two pairs of Air Max 90s. Um, a few random Air Maxes that you'll see in my finish line videos that I still need to make videos on those sneakers, which reminds me. Um, crap. So a lot, a lot on the plate here. Um, yeah. So there's that. I actually had to stop again because <laughs> my transition didn't make any sense. So the next sneaker that I picked up since we are, again, moving in chronological order, um, is another Adidas, another ZX model. This time is my first pair of the ZX 8000s. Um, so this one's unique. One, because of the buying story that I have behind it. And my girlfriend, who's probably watching this right now, is going to laugh at how I present it to you guys, but pretty much, uh, we were watching a Broadway show, you know, we had some alcohol in our systems, um, and I was on Poshmark, or I like, I, I'm a big Poshmark, I've been very big on Poshmark recently, whether it's buying or selling, um, I've bought a lot of sneakers in the past, probably six months off of Poshmark, and, you know, as I buy, I also try to sell, so I've actually sold off a lot of my collection on Poshmark for pretty cheap, so be sure to check out my Poshmark page. Um, it's pretty dry right now, but I hope to replenish it pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I've been selling on Poshmark as well, so which which kind of uh, replenishes the funds to buy sneakers, um, which which sort of drove this is this is all going to connect. Trust me, um, which sort of drove to this sneaker purchase right here. Um, so yeah, we were we were in New York City for Valentine's Day weekend. And I, I, I'm big on lowballing people on Poshmark, which is such terrible karma because I hate when people lowball my stuff. Um, but this sneaker was listed super low to start with. Um, and long story short, I lowballed and I wasn't in the right state of mind. And, you know, my my offer was taken. So with shipping, which they uh, bumped up to like seven dollars and eleven cents now, I paid like 20 bucks for these sneakers or 22 bucks brand new in box from 2011 which is crazy because also i i hope to drop um images of the listings uh or of the listing um singular and uh it looked used like there were creases 
Um, but I think that's just the nature of the, the leather or the person that took the picture just wasn't too good at making the things look appealing. Um, but yeah, the ZX-8000, so the, this specific pair is from 2011, it's from the premium leather pack, there's not a lot of information on it on the internet, so, I mean, I sort of justified it in my head too, right, because I make these videos that are focused on one sneaker doing a review with decent visuals, decent voiceover and commentary, decent takes, um, and, and this is a tangent, but the reason why I make videos like that is because, yeah, I have 2,000 subscribers and it's a lot, but it's not enough for a following, right? Um, I was like going through the analytics on YouTube studio and I only have like 10% of my, of, of my views come from subscribers. So if you're part of that 10% or it might even be less than that. If you're part of that t sub 10%, thanks for watching. Like I love you guys. You guys really keep me motivated. Um, but aside from that 10%, you know, 90% of the, of my video views come from keyword searches and, um, external searches from all over the internet and it's people trying to look for information about either sneakers or how to do things in my how-to tutorials um so yeah the way i was able to justify this is i'm like oh it's a shoe from 2011 there are only a few articles on it on like kicks on fire and complex and soul collector um let me make this video because they're brand new um they haven't been worn this is a great way to show it off if someone's gonna ever run into it um i figured it was a good opportunity so I'm super excited to have these. It's the second ZX in this um, pickup, and there's a third ZX, so, so be on the lookout for that. It's going to come up in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, really cool pair of sneakers. So putting those down, we're going to segue, and hopefully this doesn't get cut. Um, oh, wait, no, one last thing. If you watch that whole unboxing, um, this is like the first sort of mediocre experience I've had with Poshmark buying. Um I guess these people aren't big on the sneaker community, so they don't know about double boxing. Like, this lady literally wrapped it in, in packaging paper and then shipped it off. Like, what if, like, granted, it's not a super desirable sneaker, but I'd be pretty tight if the box got ruined or mangled if on a rare pair of sneakers um, in shipping. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're a Poshmark buyer or seller is, like, literally double box shoes, whether it's a $20 pair of sneakers or a $200 pair of sneakers. Like, put it in a double box. You could find one. Um, but I digress. What did I pick up after that? So I had the all timers, the 97s, the 8000s. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> so following that pair, this actually, so that black pair is not the pair of, um, ZX 8000s I wanted. I wanted this pair. Um, let me pull them out because they just came in today. Um, what is it? Thursday, February 20th when I'm recording this. Um, and there are these, the ZX 8000, um, in the aqua colorway. So this sneaker is sick. It is so cool. Um, and this is the one that I was eyeing. Um, so long story short, again, I'm going to make individual reviews on all of the sneakers that I have here and videos that you haven't seen yet, but this pair is unique because it came out earlier in 2020 um, and not that many people knew about it. I mean, if again, if you're a fan of the ZX line, then you'll know that Adidas Consortium dropped uh, dropped this aqua colorway in like 2019. Um, and, it, and the colorway is slightly different that I'll highlight in the video. But pretty much, I was trying to find a good deal on these. Um, ASOS.com, shout out to them, I guess. Um, they were doing a President's Day sale, which was Monday of this week, of like 30% off if you order through their through their website or, or their mobile app, their mobile app. And um, yeah, they had this pair in my size still um, as a lot of retailers didn't like Adidas pretty much sold out. Um, it was really hit or miss with the sneaker depending on where you looked on the internet, but they had my nine and a half at $120 retail price with 30% off uh, made them like 96 bucks or something like that, which is a pretty good deal. I think you could look on StockX, Goat, and all these reselling platforms. They're not reselling for too much. They're reselling for under retail and around the same price I paid. So um, better to get it from a reputable place because in that package, I also got a Hallie Hansen puffer jacket on sale for $70. I probably won't make a video on it because I haven't really dabbled too much in the clothing game when it comes to videos. But yeah, it's a, it's a reversible puffer jacket. Um 
which I'm stoked about. Um, I got it for $70, which is a deal. Um, caught it on that tail end of, of winter going into spring because it will be spring in like a few weeks or about a few months. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's a video idea. I have a few video ideas jotted down and one of them being is like how to score good deals on clothes and sneakers. Um, because I do find these good deals all the time and I feel like YouTube is a great platform to sort of share this knowledge about that. Um, just because I've been doing even before these YouTube videos. Anyway, that's the, uh, ZX8000 finally. Um, and the last sneaker pickup, the last sneaker pickup is... You know, it goes in tandem with what I just mentioned of how to score good deals on sneakers. Um, this one is another Poshmark pickup. And if you just see off the rip, it's like an even worse packaging story. Um, it was shipped in a replacement box. Like I bought these knowing that they weren't going to come with the original box, but it shipped in a, a replacement new ba balance box. And like, that's it. It was like taped and they shipped the label on and, and they sent it out, which don't do that as a buyer or a seller. Like your buyer is not going to appreciate it, and if you're a seller, that just shows you don't really care, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, getting to the sneakers. So this one's awesome too. This this goes in tandem with how to score good deals on sneakers. A video idea I had, because these are a brand new pair of made in the USA nine nine sevens in this navy blue and yellow. It's more of a neon green, but yellow um, is what it says on the internet colorway. Um, and man, I got these for $35. Um, when you, when you tack on Poshmark $7 and 11 cents, uh, shipping fee, it was literally $42 for this brand new pair of New Balance 997s, which is crazy. That's even cheaper than you'd probably find them at Marshall's if you ever run into them. Um, but yeah, awesome sneaker. I'm so excited to wear these in the spring. Um, this is my second pair of 997s. Uh, made in the USA ones. Um, check out my original video on that. And then I also don't know if this video is going to drop before or after, but I have an upload scheduled for a comparison between the Made in the USA 997 and uh, the 997H that I picked up from Finish Line for $30 like in the summer of 2019. Um, <laughs> wow, this all really ties together because I just recently sold that pair of 997Hs on Poshmark. So I actually don't have that pair anymore. So if you're a real fan, you'll notice that that video contains clips from the video that I initially filmed in the summer. Um, anyway, yeah, these 997s, I'm going to make another video on these. These are great. I think that might be the theme is just like how to score cheap deals on sneakers. You just got to scour the internet. Um, so that's that. Wow, where am I at? 17 minutes and 40 seconds. Cool. I mean, I figured I'll close out this video by going over a few other video ideas that I had. Um, and maybe you guys could give me some feedback in the comments if you made it this far. Um, another one is my sneaker collection. I was actually going to do that for 2000 subscribers, but I thought about it and I try to plan it because I'm a big planner when it comes to these YouTube videos and, and not like a ad libber kind of guy like how I'm doing right now. But uh, it was just a lot of work, and it also it kind of puts things into perspective for me because that would require me going through each sneaker, sort of counting them and being like, "Wow, I have way too much. I need to downsize." And and that's sort of like a uh, something I don't want to face right now. So that will be tabled for some point in the future. Maybe three thousand subscribers. Maybe who knows something big to come. Um, but you know, I'm trying to push out more sneaker tutorials. Right as I mentioned. Um, I'm really focused on, you know, doing reviews of individual sneakers, but really for a small YouTube channel like me, what really drives views is is doing how-tos and sneaker tutorials, um, doing anything that would pop up in someone's YouTube search box or something that someone would normally search. Um, so that's definitely, those are a few videos on my agenda. I want to do more comparison videos because I have a bunch of sneakers now and I have the outlet to, you know, share some knowledge and, and do some more storytelling and comparison and, and detective work almost, it seems, um, comparing pairs of sneakers and slicing in my thoughts, opinions, and ideas, which is super cool. And, you know, another thing too is just my progression of style. I mean, I don't really do style videos. Like, yeah, I do sneaker videos, but I only recently started getting back into sneakers. So my, a brief timeline is like in high school, sneakers were 
everything that I'd wear, obviously, as many kids would. But then once you make that transition to college, you sort of get on your menswear game and your preppy vineyard vines, Sperry top cider, polo, all that jazz, you know, and I'm sort of phasing out of it and, and sort of going back to that more, you know, men's casual look. Um, I mean, I'm from the tri-state area and specifically in New York City area. This is like how people in like Brooklyn or people with like very progressive jobs because my day job is very progressive um, when it comes to, you know, work culture and environment. So it allows me to sort of really hone in on buying all these sneakers and wearing what I like and wearing it proudly on a day-to-day basis. So yeah, I think that about covers everything. I'm at 20 minutes right now. This is going to be the longest video that I've ever made in my entire life. I'm going to have to sort of chop this down and see what's good. But, you know, thank you again for 2,000 subscribers. Truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful, so thankful. And, you know, it really just motivates me to work harder and hit 3,000, I hope, within the next few months. Um, but, yeah, we're going to close it out. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, stay tuned for more content. Be sure to drop a like. Be sure to subscribe. Do all you can to support me. Um, and really just stay stay tuned for more content. Thanks so much, guys.